Tinibu's lawyers arrives in Nigeria, gives shock update about his illness. President makes new plan. Hello, guys. Welcome back once again to this YouTube channel. You know, I want to ask a very good question before we commence and probably you know review the new plan that the presidents have made over the health of uh, President Bolami Tinibu. Ever since he came back from the United Nations General Assembly and ever since his certificate uh, forging and everything has been exposed or, or been reviewed, have any of you seen Bolami Tinibu make any form of public appearance in any way, in any meeting physically, even some of the uh, uh, governorship rallies he was supposed to attend in Bayasa and other states have been cancelled and some of them were even postponed and some of them he sent a representative even to give a public address or probably attend to visitors that comes to Asrock to see him. We've not seen him. And this is a very good question. If you all could remember, uh, Ruben Abati of Arise TV was the first person to raise this uh, suspicion and this uh, question that where is the president? The Nigerians are suffering day by day. Dollar is rising and everything. We are not seeing any message, no address, not even physically seeing the president. And that is when a lot of people started suspecting that there is something that is actually happening to this man. Of course, it is not a big deal for somebody to fall sick. It is a human, it is human, it is a, a human thing for people to fall sick. But transparency matters a lot. The president of the United States of America cannot stay for weeks without him making any public appearance or without him being seen in public and without the White House releasing a press statement to state if the president is sick or not. But we are living in a country whereby everything is founded on secrecy. They will spend money, loot money, and do a whole lot of things in secrecy without people knowing. Well, it has been confirmed already. Let me read, read out the news for you to see what uh, a very close person who is close to the presidency actually said. He said something as he questioned the screen that Tinibu to be confined to his bed for 72 hours for his therapist flown in from Lagos, being his daughters that were flown in from Lagos. They said, but Tinibu would remain in his bedroom for 72 hours to be attended to by his therapist who arrived at Abuja from who arrived Abuja today from Lagos. An Asorok insider has revealed he's, he is said to have made appreciable progress with his deteriorating health. Tinibu has no, not made any major public appearances since arrived from Paris, France, after attending the United Hunger, that is the United Nations General Assembly in New York, fueling speculations that he is dealing with a failing health condition. Asorok insider said Tinibu can hardly sit for too long. The cause of his sickness is not known. But as he said, he had a stem cell transplant in Paris soon after he was illegally sworn in as the president on May 29, 2023. According to the same report, they said he is unable to travel to China and the U.S. for events he was built to attend and asked Kashim Setima to represent him. And this is basically the truth. If you all could remember, yesterday, uh, as you can see on the screen, Vice President Kashim Setima departed Nigeria to present Bola Ahmed Nibu at the Third Belt and Road Initiative Forum in, in Beijing, China, holding from October 16th to 18th. And this further gave, uh, gave reasons, according to comments, to believe that the president isn't physically fit. And Mr. Stanley Nkwacha, Senior Special Assistant to the President of Media and Communication, Communications, Office of the Vice President, disclosed this information in a statement he released in Abuja on Sunday. So you can see that it is very true that there is something that is wrong with our president. And like I've said, this is the uh, lack of transparency we see in the government. That this, the number one citizen of this country, the so-called number one citizen of this country, might be passing through his challenges. It is the, the, the right of the citizens to know what is happening to their president. He can't keep everything secret. You know, after the certificate forgery and everything has been reviewed and everything, but Latin has not even for one day addressed or made any public appearances. And they are saying that he's going to be confined for three days so that the doctors that have flown him from Lagos to Abuja to, who will actually attend to him to know what is actually wrong. According to uh, Jackson today, who we, uh, we read this information from, he said that the president had a stem cell transplant. And this is, in a developed nation, things are made public and transparent if it pertains to the president and the number one citizen of their country. But in Nigeria here, everything is being hidden. You know, nobody knows what... Uh, 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 might have actually resulted in the uh, cause of this particular problem. Whether it's a certificate uh, forgery that was revealed or anything, but we know that uh, if health is something that is human, anybody can fall short of uh, his or her health, you know. But like like I've said and often stated, stated here, that it is the responsibility of the presidency to tell Nigerians the state of the president. And if the president is no longer capable or probably strong enough to govern the nation, it is not something bad, it is not something terrible. He should quickly resign and probably attend to his health. Because the nation is actually failing. 
and we cannot have a president that probably that is not fit to even you know stand and face the economic and social and security challenges that are that are before us in this country. That is why you know after Buhari spent a whole lot of months and even more than one year in hospital in abroad attending hospital and all that, people are we are shocked. That of how many years you spent so much days outside and look at where it resulted us to. That is why before they come in, people are saying vote in for somebody that is strong. Voting for somebody that is physically fit, not somebody that two two weeks or two two weeks or three three weeks, the person will be going out for medical treatment, checkups, and all that. Nigeria shouldn't be handed over to people that are not physically fit. Of course, it is nobody's prayer for anybody to fall sick, or probably it's no it's nobody's prayer for anybody to you know uh, be sick or incapacitated. No, but this is nature. When nature brings you down, or probably for, you know uh, uh, brings illness to you, of course, what you have to do is to attend to your illness. Look at what is happening in Ondo State. Instead of the, the governor or Governor Akeredoru to peacefully resign, since he's facing a serious uh, health, health challenge or battle, the best thing he should have done is to resign and hand over the government or the governance to somebody that, that is more fit, fiscally fit and competent. Other than you know being so drunk and with power that he wants to stay in power even when he knows that he's no longer fiscally fit to control power and to make some policies. And now they are hiding one or two things from the Nigerians from knowing whatever that is wrong with the president. Of course, we are praying for him to get better. Nobody wishes him bad. Nobody wishes him to, you know, uh, 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 probably anything wrong or probably uh, the sickness. We are wishing him well to recover. But it is the primary responsibility of the presidency to tell Nigerians the state of health of the president. And apart from that, if he knows deep down him and the president knows that he is no longer fit, let them quickly state so he can peacefully resign and attend to his health. Other than, you know, forcing him down the truth of Nigerians, even when the Nigerians did not even vote for him at first. Nigerians did not vote for him. Because Nigeria wanted somebody young and agile in the person of P2B that can move from one place to another in, in, in a space of three minutes. But INEC chairman B. Mahmoud Yakubu ended up giving us somebody that, that, that we didn't even know about him just because he has money and probably bought over a lot of uh, institutions we have in the country. Well, we keep on uh, praying God for God to give him good health, you know, if he's actually sick. And we also ask the presidency to be transparent. To be transparent with Nigerians, that is what we need. And not all the secrecy and hide and seek games that they are actually play, playing with Nigerians. Well, I'd like you guys to drop a comment in the comment section and tell me exactly what you think about these doctors that are flown in to treat Bolana Etinebo at Asorok. And also, what do you, what would you advise the presidency to do concerning this matter?